Right? right? All these people getting game. Right? Yeah. Joining up to stuff, getting their property stolen, yeah. doing jail time, all this type of stuff. You're going through all that for some freedom. And you paid fifteen hundred. <laughs> so you got jail time and you paid fifteen hundred. Obviously that stuff don't work and you should go back for a refund. Right? If if you could find them people, right? United States of America, Department of State. To whom these presents shall come, greetings, whatever, apostille from the Department of State. But remember, James Trafficant bankruptcy speech, right? James Trafficant told y'all, prior to 1913, most Americans owned clear allodial title to property, free and clear, whatever, 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 right? The U.S. citizen was registered as a beneficiary of the trust via his or her birth certificate. In 1933, the federal United States hypothecated all the present and future properties, assets, and labor of their subjects, the 14th Amendment U.S. citizens. So all you people who go buy packages from somebody, right, and then lose your property, or lose fiat, or lose whatever it is that you lost, the reason that you lost it is because you're a 14th Amendment citizen. And they didn't give you any sovereignty. They raped you. Right? Let me ask you a question, brother. Yeah. Now, I live in um, Syracuse, which is like right on the fringe of the Onondaga Nation right. reservation. I don't know if any of you all heard, but yeah. the Onondagas are going through some things with the Caucasoi now over land that he supposedly had sovereign land. Right. They got some, but I guess apparently he was they were supposed to get more than what they got. Right. And they've been going back and forth to court yeah. on that and it hasn't worked. So now they're taking him to what is it, the world or the international world court? Yeah, international yeah. court? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Right. Can right. you expound a little something more on that? Well, I mean, because they sovereign. Yeah, well the, the issue is that you can't be sovereign without a nation. And Anadaga isn't a nation. They That's call a themselves tribe. the Onondaga yeah. Nation, though. Yeah. When, um, you, when you go out there, because they only like right, like five miles from my yeah, house. Yeah. Okay. When you go out there, it says Onondaga, Onondaga Nation. Nation. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right. Just like, just like, um, just like the male people say Federal Express. Okay. But they don't got nothing to do with government. Mm. They're called federal, though. But nobody even connects them to government. But they're called federal. Just like federal government. But nobody says, oh yeah, Federal Express, the government, let me go pay some taxes to those people. Back to what you were saying here, you right, it's like they mix. Right. Some of them look like, you know, they kind of look like me, you know, they, right, right, right. they don't look they, they, and they don't hold strong. I go out there like the elders, you see them holding strong yeah, to the culture, old. but their young offspring yeah. today, yeah. Yeah. they don't care. And that, that's no different than, than you know, um, elders. You know, you got a belt on and your pants up here. Okay. You got other people, they got a belt on and their pants down here. <laughs> you got a belt on. Like, what's Type two. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Well, I think like, what's up? That's the other thing. Right? Stop that, man. That's, yeah. <laughs> that's, been, the other, that's been the other part of it, which I think the other part of it has been the other part of it has been the way that they've used the language and the words to mean other things ultimately it's like the dictionary when you look up certain things that same word now doesn't mean the same word it meant 20 30 years ago so nation in the same way right you can call yourself whatever you put you put yourself there and you can act like that but ultimately you're not going to get those rights because you're not fulfilling the rest of the requirements that it takes to be that. To be that. Okay. Right. Which brings us right to this. So you mentioned the 14th Amendment, yeah. right? Since 1868, the Moors using the European political appellations black, negro, and colored have been deceived into believing that they are citizens of the United States by virtue of the 14th Amendment. Noble Juali stated that the 14th Amendment is not necessary to bring the Moors back to the constitutional fold of government. It's not necessary. Right? Mm -hmm. um, and then if you go to um, divine warning to the nations by the prophet, it tells you that. And at that time, 1865, the free national constitutional law that was enforced since 1774 declared all men equal and free. 
And if all men are declared to be free national constitution, to be free and equal, since that constitution has never been changed, there is no need for the application of the 14th and 15th Amendment for the salvation of our people and citizens. So if that's the case, how come so-called Ali Muhammad Aboriginal nation of society, whatever, right, has on this nationality card that he's given to people when they join his thing that this card is authorized by the following law. United States Constitution, 14th Amendment. So the, car, the card itself that he's given the people, right, is saying that it's authorized by the 14th Amendment. When Noble Jawali said the 14th Amendment is not necessary for the redemption of the people. So why are they trying to re redeem the people using the 14th Amendment? Because um, in history, the 14th Amendment basically freed... The 14th Amendment didn't Negro. free nobody. Okay. Because there's still Negro black color today. And they ain't free. So forget 14th Amendment. Right? Mm -hmm. Again, international indigenous society and then everybody, yo, how, where do you get a nationality card from ISIS or whatever? Because people are fed up with this crap. Everybody knows that Noble Jawali is the foundation. That's why I read the letter from the brother who got locked up for 30 days, and in six days, they kicked him out of prison. Because he was, he was standing up on what Noble Jawali taught him. And he said that, I used to be down with ISIS, but I ain't down with them no more. How come? Because he started finding all this type of stuff. And many people jump ship from all these different organizations claiming to have some sovereign power that they don't got. Why? Because if you don't recognize the nation, your sovereignty is dead. Regarding Nobu Juali, they said that before Nobu Juali chartered his organization, he wrote from Morocco to then President Wilson requesting permission to teach Islam to blacks in America. Accordingly, it was permitted to me. Accordingly, accordingly, it was presented to me. Wilson granted permission. As for Booker T. Washington, it was told Booker was originally Abu Bakr. So all these guys know that we're Moors. All these guys know about Noble Jawali. All these guys know that Noble Jawali wrote, they're telling you. That Noble Jawali wrote from Morocco. How do you get to Morocco? I want to say, brother, I feel very disappointed at that. <laughs> that y'all wasn't really be able to really go in. No, we were. Well, 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 we going in. We going in right now. Okay. Yeah. Go. Yeah, yeah. We going in right now, cause you. Right now. Cause you know, you know the more. You know the more. That I throw it right up. I'ma throw it up. Yeah, yeah. Most definite. Most definite. No, it's definite. But give thanks for you too and your work, more. All right, thanks for that, my brother. Thanks, All right, Islam. peace and love, Islam. Islam, 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 bro. Right. All right, fam. Doctor, Doctor, give me one second. This battery Sorry. running low. No problem, no problem. These um occupiers out here, right? They have a protocol, right? So if you're, like for example, the, the only reason that he would get over with, with no hassles or whatever, because he doesn't have nothing on him. There's no hindrances. Like he doesn't got no felonies or nothing like that. Well, even that is part right? of the whole thing. So they'll, right? so they'll take what, whatever he presents mm -hmm. no, from the corporate side. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. But right? also, this is where when you talk about all this stuff, why not follow these things? Even the very border itself is like a, it's like a, it's a facade. It's a jurisdictional thing. Right. Right. We should be able to walk across. We should be able to walk down there and visit our brothers down there because we don't have a driver's license or something that ties right. us to them that they can tax. Because that's what it's all about. And again, that's the other part that I was trying to get to. It's all about the energies. It's about our spirit. They've got our spirit enslaved. And to me, that that's an even deeper thing than the physical part of it. Right. Right? So that's where, hey, free me spiritually and let's let's sit down equally and then let's go from there. Right? You've got me paying to, to, to every four years to get my driver's license. Right? That's a that's that's a right. 
but they've made that a privilege. That kind of stuff is the stuff I'm talking about, right? Where we're all, they've got a birth certificate that they're then trading around the world on your dollar. They ain't paying us money. They, they ain't even giving us, they're giving us paper. I used to figure this out. I'm like, wait a minute. Really, I'm taking this twenty dollars that I went and dug a ditch with to go buy some milk that he's going to do this with. There's no money. It's just yeah. a barter system, right. and they're controlling that. And then today, if they decide that this piece of paper means nothing, which we know is coming up, it's coming up, right? <laughs> then ultimately, let's see what happens. But ultimately, they've got to have a new game to that because still, if there's no money and it's energy that's running everything, they've got to have your energy. That's right. They've right. got to have your energy right. to do stuff. Right. That's where it is, right? Because what you have to realize. And you know this too, right? Drive to some of these neighborhoods. They got some houses. They got some people there. But you're support. You're the ones doing the work for them. Right. That's where it ultimately is. Because you and I can go out there and work a hard day, but there's some people that can't do that. But if they've got you doing that, and then you got to go pay some tax on this, that they then get to then go. That's where my problem is. Right. Let's just make the playing field equal, and let's go from there. If I need a license for that, that's fine. But what we do know is that a constitution was written a long time ago that laid that all out. Right. That said, hey, you have the right to go and make some money for your family. And if you have a horse, you could go on the horse. If you had a motor carriage or a, yeah, or a conveyance, you, got, you, could, a conveyance right. you could go and do that. But no, what we realize is by letting you and me have e equal with our European, we would probably get ahead. That's, that's what happened. What they realize is that ultimately anything that they're going to get us to do, we're going to be able to do probably better than them. So what we have to do is we now got to put a leash on you so that we can... So you don't, you don't go too far. Well, but not only that, you know. but also so that we can skim... Right, skim, skim off the top. Right. That's what it is. But right. we ain't going to take too much to piss you off. Right. You're just going to yeah. take enough. Take enough. Just, just so you get mad. Enough. You see what I mean? Just enough. That's why they, And that's why it always shifts up and down. And then every time people... And that's what the whole government's about. They're all the same set of thieves, right? But today, we're robbing from you. And if we finally go, hey, this is too much. Then we put another guy in thing who says, let's give back. Right? Let's yeah. give him back a little bit, yeah. right? So then we give him back. So then, okay, everything's cool. But then once that happens and people are getting ahead, no, no, no. So then, that's, do, yeah. then we bring the next guy in. That's why you have these three right. different parties. Right. They're all sitting down at the same blinking table. And instead of them putting the leash on us, better yet let them put the leash on themselves. Exactly. On each other. Exactly. You know? Well, that's no, no. Not... But you see what's happened is this is where it's evolved to. Back in the beginning, they had to have all of their brothers there to work. But now what they've realized is they have to enslave their own brothers too. And that comes from an educational or a knowledge part. Right. Right. right? If you're European and you don't know, then you're still a slave. Right? That's what it's gotten to, right? But what they've done is they've pretty much, that's what they're saying, the schools are different. Those Europeans go to their schools and they learn stuff that we'll never find out about. They learn the true knowledge. We never find that stuff out about, right? But some of them do, and those are the ones that are running the governments. They're the ones who know, and it's our stuff. Right. The, the thing is this, bro. Everything that you just said it comes down to one thing. And, and this comes also from Prophet Noah's Ali. It's up to you to enforce the laws. Because the laws come from you. It's up to us, man. It's too many of us that's passive. It's too many of us that's willing hey, to act you know yes and, and, and don't want to stand up. I, you, know, I, you know I got a brother right now who said, I want to nationalize, but I don't want to fight. That's what he told me. But I don't want to fight. What do we got to cut you off? So that means he wants to work in the system. No, just no, the no, paperwork no, alone. No, no, he wants no. the benefits of it, but he doesn't. Right. He wants the benefits of it, but he's right. And I realize this too, because there's certain times when I'm out there and you're realizing the battle. The battle's tough. You yeah, got to be up for the battle, I mean, you're right? Gonna pick but your the, battles too. You know, you're not well, going to battle just because you have a battle. Exactly. No, no, but, you, but, you but we also have to realize that this is a war, right? This is like an ultimate war that's going on. Right, and some of us, some of that's some soldiers just aren't good soldiers. Right, right. Some of us don't want to fight. Right, so that's that's where I sense some of this is at. Right, right. guys like you and me and you, we want to go out there and dig those trenches. Other right. guys will say, hey, you know what? I don't mind if you take thirty percent of my energy. Right, just as long as I get left alone. Right, right. Right, yeah. some of us are happy with that, and that's how it is. Right, right. Yeah, that's why I said it's all it's all fractured though. Some of us will go, oh. You'll pay me to take some of my brothers away? Sure, I'll go. You know what I mean? That's where you have the agents, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah, it all boils down to it all boils down to what Kujo was saying, though. The the foundation was laid out for you. Right. Now, not let me. I'm not talking to you specifically. No, no, I'm when here. I say you, I mean us as a whole. Right. It was laid out for you by Prophet Noble Jalali. So when people don't want to study what he left, they don't get these lessons. It's right there. It's laid out for. It's laid out for. But us. also, right but what was another thing too that I remember from this stuff? 
the prophet came to the people that needed them needed him needed the most, the most right. right so we needed this message the most right right so they still do we're and still we still do no ultimately yeah. we still do yeah. right so we needed this message we need to wake up and part of what's going on wrong now is because we were the founders of stuff they have run their course and now things are falling apart but until the actual heirs to the house can come back and clean up the house things are going to continue so to fall, ap fall apart to fall apart exactly but the thing is the people who have been in power are too used to it now and they ain't willing, and, the, and those are a small sect of people, and they ain't willing to give up right. because things have been comfy for them for a long period of time, yeah. right? So it would now be now now that person who's sitting down in his plush chair has to get up and dig a ditch. Yeah, yeah. he doesn't want to. Yeah, because right, he's because because he's got us to be doing it for exactly. a long time. Right, but it's getting to that it's getting to that place where you have no choice. This is this is why well, go, this is why you know what I mean like this, this is, is why I did the debate. I didn't do the debate because. Look how much people are in here. I didn't do the debate to convince nobody about more science and all that. Right? Who knows it knows it. Everybody. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And everybody knows. This is what the point is. Even Ali Muhammad knows about the Moorish movement and Nobu Juali and how powerful what he brought is. His own words in his own books is letting people know that everybody knows. He's, he's one of the biggest more bashers out there. But he knows about Nobu Juali and all that. He might talk crap, but he knows what's up. Well, he's you know what I mean? Agents. Right? I mean, call it what you will. Right? You look at look at all these people. Look at King Noble. King Noble was a member of the Moor Science Temple. He was a Grand Sheikh of a temple. And he chose to jump ship. So that means he knows. I don't care if he's coming now and saying black, whatever, whatever. Point is, your foundation is Moor Science Temple. Who are you fooling? You're not fooling me. They might think they're fooling me, but you know, I got nationality cards that say that you're incorporated in Cherokee. So obviously you're running a fraud. And people are, for whatever reason, people are blind to the fraud. Why are they blind to the fraud? Because everybody has this, this, um, everybody has this misunderstanding and misconception about what Noble Juali brought. Because everybody's comparing this, everybody's using their black. Negro colored mindset when they look at Moors. There's a Moors picture, right? More of the Alhambra picture. The day was a black guy. That's not a black guy. That's a Moor of the Alhambra. Why you call him a black guy? Oh yeah, well you know that's the oh yeah, ancient black guys, some guys with fezes, you know what I mean? Posing or whatever. Oh yeah, ancient black guys. Those are ancient black guys. Yeah, Those the, are Moors. That's the reconstructionist. Deal. But but the real reconstructionists are these people's heads. Yeah. The reconstructionist isn't the European. Yeah, yeah. They got they got a Washington, um, what do you call it? George Washington Masonic Museum with fences that say Islam on it and all that. So the European's not the issue. Yeah, it's, it's, it's more fences than the You know what I mean? Like fit in this room. room Imagine that. They won't fit in this room. Imagine that. They have so many fezzes in Washington, right? That if we took all the fezzes out the showcases and bring them in this room, there's going to be more fezzes, fezzes out the door. No, but I, but I told you this before too about this, which my belief is that ultimately things have to stand on truth. So the European is standing on the truth, but he's telling us a lie, getting us to stand on the lie. Right? That to me is where this has all been at, right? right? They. So for their spells and all that stuff to work, it has to work on truth. Exactly. That foundation has to be on truth. But we can't have you knowing the truth. We've got to have all of that stuff subverted and sublimated so that you're doing something else, but you're really you're adhering back to the true power system. Right. Right. So that so that that's where the issue is, right? They're gonna follow that, but tell you to follow something else. Exactly. And then we're gonna get certain guys in your community to do that. To, to, to do that. We're then gonna put drugs in the community. Right. We're then gonna falsely educate you. We're then going to do everything else but give you the truth. The truth. But, you know, it's just like, coming back again, you said what Noah Juali said, everything's right there, right? Man knows not by being told. That's right. Which means you still got to go study. Even if somebody tells you something, hey, you know, I heard that you guys are more, not black people. Oh, yeah, really? Oh, yeah. So you're supposed to go check that out. Right? Again, no different than Ali Muhammad. What did he do? 
he went and he checked it out. And when he was confident enough, Moore's know, Moore's know this, right? Moore's know this. Moore's know this, that when you get on this information and you realize something and something goes off in your head, first thing you're gonna do is write a book about what you, about what you just came to. Your eureka moment has to be documented on paper. Right? That's just pattern. And then when you check everybody, that, that's the magic. That's, that's the what it is. That's yeah. Yeah. Right? So, page 153 of the same book. Nobujuali's mother also plays an important man who won lands in Louisiana that belong to ancestors of the, the court case, United States versus the heirs of Henry Turner, Tunica, case 32, thir United States Appellate Court, 1850 was an appeal to an earlier case won by the heirs of Henry Tanika called the heirs of Henry Tanika Turner versus the United States case 191. So you think you think the United States doesn't recognize the Moors when they've been battling with the Moors for land in Louisiana? Of, they, of course they recognize the Moors. They know exactly who the Moors are as soon as you say something about Moors and Moorish nationality or whatever. It's not a secret, right? If, you, if you're not careful, your own brothers will try to put you in slavery. Now there's a brother by the name of Brother Chin. And it's crazy, it's crazy right now, right? How things just work, right? Brother Chin looks like Brother Dian in the back, right? But this is what Brother Chin says. When you look at me, what do you see? And everybody in the audience says, a brother. My last name is Chin. My family comes from southern China almost 200 years ago. I went up to the mountains of China. They wanted to know, why do I have the last name Chin? I said, because my ancestors came from this land. I used to see pictures of Chinese, and they were dark as me, and I thought that they were dirty from working. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> right? Another thing is, we, who are Moors traveled from pole to pole. We built everything. This is a Mr. Chin talking that looks like us. Right? But the best place to hide your history is right in front of your face. So when you walk out these doors, start looking at everything you have been taught in the opposite direction. Brother Chin. Almost done. You're going to go on YouTube, you're going to watch a video called Ali Muhammad of ISIS cannot use the fraud claim or ISIS sovereign citizen teachings. That's actually a video that Ali Muhammad's in. That they couldn't even get the car out the pond using their stuff. But then the Moors in Canaan land, right, who exercise, who exercise right to travel, right? You got the letter? You got it there? Yeah, yeah. If you got the letter, yeah, put that on the record. Yeah. Right? So people could see how legit more science temple is. Right? So this brother can't get the car out of the impound. It's on YouTube. Documented fact. The stuff was on TV and all that. Right? Now we got this letter right here from Toronto Police Services. William Blair, Chief of Police. Right? Now, this letter came from a Moor who got his mode of transport, conveyance, car, motor vehicle, kidnapped. whatever you want to call it, kidnapped. Took him. Right? And on the day, 06 27 2013, they impounded his stuff, property. Right? On the day. Then on the day, he got a letter from the chief of police. This is on the day. The same day that they kidnapped his vehicle, right? The chief of police sent him a letter, right? Dear sir, madam, please be advised that the following vehicle registered to you was impounded on the date indicated, VIN number, impounded on, whatever, towing company, phone number of the towing company. It is suggested that you Claim your vehicle as soon as possible as a storage fee is charged each day. If your vehicle is not claimed, it shall be sold as prescribed by provincial statute. 
if you have already claimed your vehicle, disregard this letter. Should you require further information, please contact storage facility indicated above. If you recently reported this vehicle stolen to the same bomb, this action is required by you to prevent further action by the original investigating police services. Yours truly, Pound Officer for Unit Commander Traffic Services, scribble, scribble, under. Now, find me a black guy whose car got impounded, right? that can show you a letter from the police chief on the same day that their car got impounded that the police chief is telling them come get your stuff or we're going to charge you fees to keep it here right mm -hmm. all you're going to hear from them is you you need to come pay That's right. whatever it is a day 50 a day 100 a day or whatever That's absurd right. amount that they charge mm -hmm. right they're not coming to the brother about that. They'll send him a nice letter, call him sir and all that stuff, right. and tell him, you know, come pick up, come your, pick up your property. Wow. Or a storage fee is going to be charged, and if you don't come pick it up, we're just going to sell it. <laughs> There's no nothing about him getting fines and all that stuff. Right? They're, they're not legit. You don't think they know what's up? You think we have to prove to them that we're Moors? Right? So where is your insurance? May I have your insurance? My insurance is yeah, right there. This is registration. Your insurance is right there under the tax. Over insurance, right there on the company. Okay. Uh, you don't have an extra card to carry? No. This does not meet our criteria. That's all they gave you no. from North Carolina, man. Well, I'm going to have to get my supervisor. I'm about a 15 right now. Yeah. On scale of one to ten, I'm about a 15. It's about getting out of control. Well, Trace, this is expired. His registration's expired. Okay, sir. Good bad news. Sorry. Your registration is expired. I cannot release the vehicle, unfortunately. I know you have the car. I can't get it done until y'all give me the car back. That's a problem. They can't get it re-registered until he takes it back down to North Carolina. I can't fix it without the car, and that's, I need the car. That's why I can't even pay for it. Then that's a catch-22 for a lot of people that are out of state. You're, you're, you're gonna have to contact the state and see if they can give you temporary registration. They, they can. That's why I came all the way up here. Well, you'll have to show me some type of proof that they can't do that. Gave me proof of. Gave me what? You can uh, have them call me. Or oh, who on throws a call from North Carolina to tell you that? I mean, that doesn't even make no sense. Sure, it sure does. If I can confirm that they won't renew your registration. If you have the car being there, then we'll take the tag from the car and we'll allow you to hire a tow truck to tow the vehicle. Well, I can do that right now. You can keep the tags and just give me my vehicle. Well, no. The only reason this car is still here is because of the negligence of the city of Philadelphia. No, sir. I don't know any negligence of the city. Look at it. You're big and Look at it. All I know is they gave you a reduction. That doesn't mean there was negligence. They, oh, that was negligence. They, they reduced your total bill. It was right here. It was 18 tickets. Okay. For 18 tickets and 300 tickets. Well, you know, what you just got to do is work on the registration. Okay. Work on it? What do you mean work on it? Let me get my paperwork, man. Let's give me all my paperwork back. What do you mean work, work on it now? Get it renewed. Give me, just give me my paperwork, man. All right, my paperwork. This is some bull. They extorting us, and they stealing my vehicle. That's why I don't come to Philly. All we're saying is that we pay every fee. We're not asking them to pay us the money back, which we should. We're just asking, can we leave with the vehicle? We have an option of allowing them to tow the vehicle back to North Carolina, but I'm not going to do that until I know that North Carolina will not renew his registration. If he has the car be in there. Ain't nothing I can do, but just uh, bow down to the master. Nagger representing true hip hop. Break down the elements, build it back to the tip top. Scientific manners when the shit drops. Here to save the masses from the flip flop. Know that class is in session and it's tick tock. No time to waste, get out my face with the shit talk. 
let your tea cool before you drink it, yo, the shit's hot Lessons learned from Jim Z and Grandpa, you save very sweet, soft like a lamb chop Hate it when them niggas in the prison used to ham hock Them the same pussies playing with dolls in the sandbox Nasty niggas, they love to go to Bangkok While we was busting tools, taking jewels, breaking damn locks We was breaking rules, no control like we was Hancock I was on a mission, I was itching for that lamp plot So I was in the kitchen, whipping up that damn pot Chip it, then we flip it, then avoid all the cameras Extra style, true Irish, shamrock And crews used to raid us cause they know that we ran blocks Promoters used to hate us when we pull up to that ram spot And never fear us cause they know that we had guap And if they never made us get in, then we bang shots